Hey there, everyone, and welcome to the first video in my Quick Start Guide for Anarchy Online series of videos. This first video will be talking about character creation and what class you should choose when playing character uh, Anarchy Online, the sci-fi themed free MMO. There is a free option to an MMO. It's not totally free. If you want the three expansion packs, you have to pay for them and start paying a monthly subscription cost. If you don't know, in Anarchy Online, there is no magic. There is, however, nanotechnology, which is very similar looking to magic in, a, uh, that in say, a fantasy-based MMO. They can pretty much do the same thing, damage, summon people, pretty much just pretend that instead of magic here, there's nanotechnology. The first screen you come to is the select your breed or race screen. You should just skip it. You should select your class or profession first, and you should choose a breed based on it. We'll go. I'll do a quick description of what every class is in the game. I'll do it in order, as is listed here. First class, or profession in this game, as it's called, is the metaphysicist. Metaphysicists are pet users. They summon three pets usually, one to attack, one to heal, and one to stun. They also have a number of a, bil a number of nanos or spells as you want. I'll just call them nanos. They have a number of nanos that increase their nano skills that makes it so they can use higher level nanos, higher level pets. They don't have a primary weapon of choice. They usually use bows, one hand blunt, two handed edge, or pistols. However, most actually it is actually better to attack with your nanos. You have a bunch of direct damage nanos. They aren't as great as the nanotechnicians, but they're decent. You should nanomage or solitus. Some people go Aatrox, but I'd go nanomage or solitus. Probably nanomage is probably a safer bet. Next class is adventurer. These guys are kind of all round good for beginners. They use one hand edge weapons or pistols. They're the best class of dual wielding. They can transform into animals. They have a distinct uh, connection with nature. They can change into a reet, or as you can picture there, to fly. They can, you know, turn into tigers, into, you know, saber-toothed lions. And you should probably be Solitus or Aatrox. You can go Opvex if you want, but I wouldn't go recommend. I'd, I'd say I'd say Solitus or Aatrox. They um have also a number of. They can also they're also pretty decent at healing. They aren't great, but you know, healing's always good to have around. They have. They can also transform friends into animals too. Next the class is the engineer. They're also a pet class. They only have one pet though. They have these giant hulking monstrosities and machines for them. That if properly twinks, a character can summon a really high-level robot for them. These robots are actually incredible at tanking. They are not the best tanks. They actually are not the best tanks in the game, but probably the second or third best. But they are good at tanking nonetheless. You should choose Nano Mage as your class. You maybe. That or Solitus. Probably should not go Ape Op Effects or Aatrox. They almost always use pistols because there's an interesting quest line for an interesting pistol that they can make. The class Soldier should be played... The soldiers are basically very easy to play as classes. They're, they should be Solitus or Aatrox. All their nanos, all they do is put shields on themselves. Reflect shields, damage shields, absorb shields. There's like five different shields. They can also be put on friends. Their simple task is tanking and doing damage. They use assault rifles mainly. Everything that they do is related around to doing damage or to help taking less damage. Uh, the next class is Keeper. I don't have Shadowlands, so I can't go to it. I'll just select Enforcer and Highlight Keeper. You really should be reading the text that says in the bottom left, and you probably should look online beforehand before you pick a class or profession. I can use either word interspersely. Keepers are basically paladins. They have heals. They have some buffs. They use two-hand edge. You should be Solitus or... Aatrox for them. Shades are classes, they're pretty much the assassin rogue class. They use usually piercing weapons or one hand edge. They're one of the greatest damage dealers in the game. My favorite class, the fixer, a great class to start as in my opinion. They're basically the people from the matrix. The grid is a connection of computers that can do a lot of things. They can hack into the grid to have the grid do tasks for them. They can hack the nanobots in the air to heal themselves or friends over time. They can meld with the grid stream to increase their run speed and increase the run speed of their friends quite a bit. They're really, really fast. They're, that's also a good ability because getting vehicles in this game is really expensive, but they have increased run speed to the point that you might actually not need a vehicle. They can also teleport to the, into the grid from pretty much anywhere. They can also meld with the grid in a way that they actually exist still there it's called Grid Armor. It's a really, really hard to find nano, really expensive if you want to buy it, but it makes them almost impossible to hit. 
They, if you have grid armor on, usually you can't be hit at that level. They can, you know, hack items out of thin air, have them delivered to you, ammo, whatnot. They're just, they're, it's also, they can also increase the NCU or RAM or, you know, the amount of buffs that everyone else can have on themselves with some buffs. Next class, they're really hard to play. Oh, fixers should be op effects. Always op effects. You can't be solitaires, but I could say op effects. They, fixers use submachine guns. Submachine guns, that's pretty much it. Agents are really hard to play as. They are the most stealthy class, more stealthy than the Shade, actually. They can also mimic other professions to cast the nanos, or spells, of other professions. Though doing so, mimicking a profession reduces their nano skills, uh, so they can't cast as well, and there's some nanos that they can't cast and whatnot. Though, really, it's just... It's not that useful, but they're really, really hard to play as. They are incredible at PvP, though. Uh, higher level up. They do incredible amount of damage. They actually hit damage caps. There's like a damage cap, so they're usually the ones that hit it, because they just do so much damn damage later on. Uh, you should be... They use uh, they use rifles, and you probably should be op effects or solitus. I'd probably say solitus. Traders. Traders, they're basically based around give and taking. They take the abilities and stats of the enemy and give them to themselves. They give... They take then... They take then those buff stats and their own stats, and give it to people, and then ask money for them, for that. It's called, you know, they debuff enemies, and they wrangle other people, and that's a really good way to make money. They're incredible at low-level PvP. They use shotguns. You should be Solitus, probably. There, I see some op effects and some Aatrox, but Solitus is probably a good bet. They use shotguns. Um, I don't recommend starting as one. They're kind of hard to play as, but if you can manage it, they're a really fun class to play as, because they're really powered up. From their uh, debuffs and wrangles and whatnot. Doctors are healers or medics. You know, there's a straight up healing. But there, are, a lot of doctors don't actually choose to use weapons. They just hold these chalices or pillows or whatever the hell they want to increase their healing. They also have some dots and whatnot that can do damage over time to the enemy. But you probably shouldn't worry about that. You should just worry about healing. You know, if you do use a weapon, you can use pistols or two hand edge. Because those are easy to use. Doctor, straight up medic, straight up healer, easy. If you like healing, choose them. Enforcers! They are the primary tank in the game, pretty much. They, all their nanos are about either increasing their HP, increasing their damage, or increasing their threat, or increasing their size. They get really, really big. Always choose Trox if you're going to do it, because you want to be a tank. As an enforcer, they usually have tank armor on. They're the big chunky guys. They're just simple warrior type things. Just, they tank. They're tanks. Choose it if you like to be a tank. You, should, you can use pretty much any melee weapon. One hand edge, two hand edge, one hand blunt, or two hand blunt for them. Aatrox all the way. Bureaucrats, really hard to play as. Stay away from them. They have they also have pets, but their pets are really weak. And they're... Well, they're weak compared to the level you get them at. They have a number of really interesting abilities that no one else has anything out there. They're good at crowd control, like the Fixer. I forgot to mention that. The Fixers are good at crowd control. They also can ensnare and slow down the targets. Their main way, way of attacking is to stop the opponent from moving and then snipe them away. Bureaucrats can also do that. Bureaucrats usually use pistols. I've also seen a, a bunch of them holding briefcases and coffee makers. <clears throat> they mainly attack with their nanos. They also have a number of abilities like increase XP or regain XP from death sickness and whatnot. They're just really hard to play as though, so you should stay away from them. They also have mind control. They can take, they can make pets out of enemies and whatnot, make them attack each other. Martial artists are one of the most dodgy classes. Fixers and martial artists are the two most dodgy classes in the game. They also are half decent healers, but probably not that great compared to, of course, a doctor. Their main, they don't use weapons. They use their hands. You should be an op effects. Uh, oh, bureaucrat, forgot to mention bureaucrat, nano mage, salt, nano mage, not really, but probably solitus, good bet. Martial artist, you can be Aatrox or Solitus or uh, Op Effects. I say Op Effects because that's the primary class. Most of them are Op Effects. They're great. They, they can also be tanks. They don't usually have as much armor on, but they're meant to dodge more. They're really great at damage, low, uh, low on. They have a bunch of martial arts abilities, like different techniques, different attacks. They're good at healing. They can do really good damage early on. Pretty decent damage later on. They have an interesting called, attack called Dimash, which you can use every half an hour. It's a soul attack, 100% accuracy. There's an incredible ass load of damage, but you can only use it, of course, once every half an hour. <coughs> really easy to start as. Of course, because you don't have to use a weapon, you don't have to search for a good weapon. Nanotechnicians. Always, you should be a nanomage as a nanotechnician. You can be Saltus, but you should be a nanomage. 
they're the nukers in the game. These are the casters. They do damage to everyone via nanos. You should also, you as that, they also have an interesting reflect shield, which is basically there just to protect them. They have AoE nukes, which is basically nukes that do damage to an area, an area of effect nano. Their main way of gaining XP is running around places with lots and lots of really high level enemies and hitting them all for lots of damage, just running away from them, getting, making sure that they don't get hit. It's a great way to get XP. It's also a great way to make money by from other people sitting around. And of course, you should choose a class and then choose a profession based on it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and hope you can choose a class to play as. And I'll be next video showing you how to get through New Island or the ICC shuttle port.